Hey folks, how are we doing? Alright, well, I've been trying to figure out a questing druid deck that I'd like to play in Legacy. And so here's what we've cooked up. But we're not going to play Delver of Secrets because it gets destroyed by Orcish Bowmaster. We don't have our own Orcish Bowmasters to keep up in the Orcish Bowmaster race. So, uh, we're going to play some Uros and some Sylvan Libraries and a Life from the Loam to keep up or to take advantage of being in the color green. Um, and, you know, we got some Minsk and Boo, Veil of Summer, the, the carpet, the sideboard. Um, so I think that, uh, yeah, this might be an okay take on Teamer. We're going to try out the seal of removal tech, which, you know, bounces stuff. It can protect our own guys as well. And, you know, it can just be banked off a, a Seek the Beast. So that's cool. Um, yeah, some old-fashioned synergies here, like Sylvan Library and Uro. You know, we'll draw some cards and pay some life and then gain it back with Uro, hopefully. And uh, yeah, I think this is a pretty standard build. And uh, we'll give it a shot here and see how it goes. All right, we're gonna start on the play. And this looks like a server with serviceable enough hand. We'll start on a ponder here. Got uh, some questing druids and whatnot coming down the line. Um, these cards look okay. Well, I'll uh, stick with those. All right, the opponent is on painter. I could wasteland here. Well, we have a wasteland on top. I mean, probably I just want to seek the beast, right? All right. I'm going to be looking to seek the beast here. Painter Servant. All right, so I'm going to fetch a tropical island and then uh, seek the beast in response. So we hit land, brainstorm. Those are okay. Then I'm just going to daze here. They don't have a simian spirit guide. And I'll play this free brainstorm. Okay. Put back a volcanic island. I guess another brainstorm? I mean, Uro pretty slow here. Or maybe Murktide Regent. And I will pass the turn. Another painter servant. So do I want to daze this one too? Alternatively, I could just let it resolve and lightning bolt it. And then wasteland them next turn. Saving wasteland for a saga might be a good idea. I think I'm just supposed to daze this. I would like to get Questing Druid into play, though. I think I'll just let it resolve and Lightning Bolt it. Um, so I'm going to play this Questing Druid. Play this Dragon's Rage. And just start trying to kill my opponent here. So they're playing an Ancient Tomb. And a third Painter Servant. Wow. Uh, 
Uh, so they have like a spirit guide or something. I'm dead. I guess I'm going to let it go. I'm going to pass the turn. Okay. There's a force of will. Now let's put these triggers on the stack. Bury a bobble. There's a seal of removal. I guess that's okay here. I'm gonna play the seal of removal. In this tropical island. They want to red blast my seal of removal. I think I'm going to force this. And probably just pitch the Uro here. Seal removal's in. Oh, okay. Well, we're going to daze this. Just keep the party going. Lightning bolt. That's a good one. All right. Seal removal is thankfully in. Wasteland Ancient Tomb. Play Volcanic Island. Um, uh, yeah, and I'm just going back here. Um, so do I just seal removal now? I mean, they're dead next turn, it would seem. I don't really see how they can beat my seal removal, so I think I'm just going to wait. There's a saga. That's going to be too slow to matter. Goblin engineer. I'll have to let that one go. They're going to have to do some chump blocking on their turn. Is So they put a, a dragon engine in their graveyard. All right, so we've got the lightning bolt. They're gonna chump block here. And then we're gonna lightning bolt the thing they don't chump block with. Take out the goblin engineer. Open library. I guess I don't need that this juncture. And I will pass the turn and take my chances against whatever their one or two cards are on once they draw here. Lotus Petal, that's not going to do it. Baseland. That's a good one. So let's attack. Yeah, they're gonna make a construct. Gonna bounce the construct. And we got it. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna want the meltdown, the hydro blast, and the collector roof. I would say seal removal is not at its best. On the draw, easy enough to trim a daze. I mean, days and force are both kind of questionable. Sylvan Library is a little questionable, but trimming a bobble when bringing in an oof is always a good idea, I think. And so I can probably either cut the Sylvan Library or a Force of Will here. You know, I guess Surgical Extractions are good in this matchup too. Maybe another days trimmed on the draw is okay. 
Maybe I'll just trim all the daisies. Hope that Force of Will isn't too bad. Still have 18 blue cards in the deck. Alright, let's try this. Alright, well, it's an interesting hand, but one that I will mulligan. Alright, pretty easy keep here. I think I'm just going to bend the Force of Will. Might get hit with an ensnaring bridge. But otherwise, we can just bolt their boys and be wastelanding them. I don't think I want a two for one myself here. And we do have outs. Ensnaring bridge. In the form of meltdown. Alright, they're going to start on a goblin welder. So we're just going to let this welder feel the heat. Bobble first, though, and see what they're drawing. Woody. And let's eat the welder and pass it back. We draw another wasteland off the bobble. There's a grindstone. Well, I'm not going to mind spamming wasteland here. Ooh, especially with a life from the lo They didn't float a red, so they probably don't have the red blast. Um, and so... Well, there's no green source here, but the Dragon's Rage, probably good. We'll probably find the green source eventually. And we don't need a life from the loam right away here. So maybe this is okay. I guess I'm going to keep. Opponents playing a Wooded Foothills. I guess there's some chance that they could play like Painter on their turn. And then uh, kill me somehow. I am just going to wasteland here. Words, okay. All right, there's a saga from the opponent. There's the painter servant. Uh, so I am going to bolt the painter servant. Wasteland the Saga. And hope to draw that green source soon. Right, the opponent is looks like they're finally stuck on lands. Here's the tropical island. Here's the life from the loam. Okay. So we're stocked up on lands. We're not exactly killing the opponent. But it seems like they play a lot of non-basics in this build of Painter that they're playing. Alright, I'll definitely take the Dragon's Rage here. Alright, the opponent's playing an Ancient Tomb. Goblin Engineer. Uh, counter the spell if it's uh, red. Take my surveil. We'll keep the ponder. Not going to waste any time uh, wastelanding this ancient. Draw the ponder. Do my attack. Play ponder. Lightning Bolt is probably a good one. Alright, all these cards are good ones. So I took the Brainstorm there. We want to set up um, Life from the Loam. Well, this game's probably just going to end soon. I guess I already have lands to put back. Um, 
I guess I'm going to brainstorm here. Keep the lightning bolt on top. Okay, they've got a red blast. That's fine. All right, so I'll just play a I'll just play out the wasteland then. They're up to two mana here, and there's a painter servant. Gonna lightning bolt this right away. Gonna keep this lightning bolt. Here's an ancient tomb of the opponent and a fable of the mirror breaker. Well, that's a pretty good one. They are dead here to my lightning bolt. Oh, wasteland the opponent. Oh, lightning bolt them in the dome and set up my draw here. The tag in the graveyard. And there's a concept. All right, round two against Schminkeldorf on the draw. We've got a pretty good looking seven here. Uh, Misty Rainforest, Volcanic Island, so probably a Delver Mirror here. I'm gonna play a Bobble, pretty much locks up the Delver Mirror. I'm gonna play the Dragon's Rage, play the Bobble. Wasteland. Wastelanding on the draw is not that exciting. I'll just put that in the graveyard. Opponent's drawing Wasteland, okay. We draw another land off the Bobble. That's pretty good. They're probably gonna Wasteland us here. Yup. And a bolt on my DRC. Well, I'll have to live with it. Okay, so I guess I'm going to float the Volcanic Island out there. Hope to play Life from Alone next turn. Happened for a blue, but they take it back. Okay, they are cracking their Delta. Okay. Was this a Bowmaster or is it Murky Reach? I guess I'm gonna have to set myself back here and daze this thing. Hopefully they don't have force of will. They do have force of will. All right. Well, they have themselves a five-five Merc Tide. I guess we do have unholy heat to answer this potentially. Look who's a little late to the party here. All right. I guess I could uh, play my own Merc Tide here is probably what we're hoping to do. We have a little life to work with. Delver of Secrets, I'm not gonna force that. Misty Rainforest. Um. We need to keep enough cards in the graveyard. Uh, hmm. I think I do want to play Life from Alone. Yeah, I think I want to play Life from Alone. And Dredge. And then hopefully we hit some more instants and sorceries. And then my Murktide is bigger than my opponent's. I guess I'm getting a Tropical Island here. I'm going to loan for two. All right. So hopefully Delver misses here. It does. That bodes potentially well. Take six and go to eight. Another Delver. Okay. Well, I need to dredge my loam. 
I'd hit more instants and sorceries. We didn't really do, so that's unfortunate. All right, well, I guess I'm going to play a 5-5 Murktide Regent, then, right? I don't see any way around it. All right, the Murktide Regent's in... I guess I'll wasteland my opponent's Volcanic Island. Going to Lightning Bolt my head. Yes, I'm going to daze this. All right, the Delvers do flip, so it's going to be pretty hard to win here. This member. Oh, okay. Well, they definitely have. Okay, on the draw here, we do have some good cards to bring in. I'm going to be trying out the end of festivities here, which could in theory pick off some Bowmasters, among other things. Then boarding out Force and Sylvan Library is pretty obvious. You know, Sylvan Library not being great in Tempo Mirrors. And two for one ourselves with Force of Will. Also not that exciting in Tempo Mirrors. Alright, let's play first. Yeah, I'll keep. Kind of tempted just to play the Tega here. Um, there's almost no chance I daze their turn one play. I'd rather get the Tago Wastelanded than the Volcanic. Alright, my opponent has a Dragon's Rage of their own. And a Bobble. Alright, Bobble's in there. They milled a Pyroblast. Got another Bobble. Keep in whatever it was. All right, they are passing it back. Another land is not a terrible draw. Play out this land. I think I have to go ahead and bolt their Dragon's Rage. Alternatively, I could Questing Druid on my end step. Don't really want their questing druid accruing value, but and I don't want to do nothing with this mana either. I think I'm just gonna questing druid on my end step. How to play questing druid is uh, an interesting question. A Misty Rainforest. Well, that's one that I can play off the Seek the Beast, so I'm just going to keep it. We're going to daze. I guess I'm dazing back. I'd like to be putting cards in my graveyard. All right, I'm just going to put the Misty in the graveyard and hope the Seek the Beast works out. Which, uh, I guess it, it struck out, basically, because I'm not going to be able to daze anything. I'm not going to be able to play this Uro either. All right, I guess there's a lesson in there. But if you have something you can put into play off the Questing Druid, you just kind of have to keep it. They don't offer the trade. But we sure are hitting the lands. Unfortunately, I'm not going to get to play this arrow. Yeah. Um, okay. All 
All right. I'm just going to lightning bolt the questing dragon's rage here. I mean... Take an L. These other cards. Um... Yeah, I guess I don't want to make this trade with a Delver. All right, Delver doesn't flip, so that's exciting. Another Delver for the opponent. Passing it on back. Yes, I just have to take it. All right. So I'm going to fetch a Tropical Island here. I'm going to play the Questing Druid. And let this daze get pondered if that's where my opponent wants to be. But I'll definitely... If they daze it, we still get the surveil trigger to set up next turn at least anyway. Put a Misty in the graveyard. They're going to snuff out my questing druid. And my dragon's rage is going to get delirium here. These cards are good. And we're getting in for three. All right, they're going to not flip their Delvers. Good news for us. All right, third Delver of Secrets. Snuff out is thankfully pretty bad. In the old tempo mirror. Well, it often is. If you have to pay for a life for it. Um, so I'm going to play this Brainstorm. Get my Surveil. Put this Misty in the graveyard. And see if my opponent's Red Blasting here. They are not... Alright, I'm gonna put these both back. Wasteland doesn't seem that very doesn't seem great in this stage of the game. I'm gonna shuffle. Get another volcanic island. Get my attack for three in. I guess I should have Mistress Bobbled in my first main phase when I was certain that I was gonna get the surveil value. Another Dragon's Rage. That's like a, a pretty good one. So I think we're going to have to keep. See what my opponent's drawing. Wasteland. And then we're going to play a Murky Rage here. For max size. Looks like they have themselves a Pyroblast. All right, so we get this free draw. I guess if these Delvers flip, I'm going to be playing Lightning Bolt into Daze. Delvers not flipping. They're cracking their Misty. Is Delver going to miss here? Okay, well, they're revealing Daze, so I'm, I'm playing Lightning Bolt here and hoping that Daze is not their card in hand. And the festivities. So that could kill the other Delver. Yeah, I think that's fine enough. But they get to attack for four here, but Daze is otherwise pretty bad in their hand. So I don't know what their one other card is, but we're going to play Dragon's Rage in our turn. Play this End the Festivities. Oh, they're going to Surgical my Murktide. Well, that really does nothing. And their other card is Daze, but they do get to shuffle the end of festivities from the top of my library. My Dragon's Rage is still um, active here. Are they going to attack? They are, uh, so they're going to keep their 3-2 back. Okay. Questing Druid, that's a pretty good rip here. 
So do I just want to play it now is the question. So we know they have days in hand. All right, I'm going to... I guess I'm doing this attack and trading with their Insectile Aberration. There's just no way I can get two Surveils. And, uh, well, if I question Druid on my turn, I have to play all the cards on my turn. Um, I will seek the Beast now, though. Pyroblast. Well, it doesn't really do anything here unless they draw Murktide on their turn. Um, I guess I'm going to assume that doesn't happen. Okay. Um, because otherwise... Uh, well, Pyroblast is a dud, and if I Pyroblast or Delver, they just daze it. So that doesn't seem very useful. Delver doesn't flip. Okay, so they hit a Bobble. That's not a Murktide Regent, so that's good news. So I think we should be in okay position from here. Here's the end of festivities again. So, uh, let's play Dragon's Rage. Um, let's, we're gonna end the festivities on this Delver. Lightning Bolt is probably a good one. They're going to hard cast days. Sure. And I'm going to play this here ponder. I guess I'm going to keep the lightning bolt on top still. Okay. Alright, so here comes the Murktide Regent. But we should just be able to kill them dead with um, Lightning Bolt. Oh, okay, maybe not quite, unfortunately. But I think we're still in an okay spot. So I can play the Questing Druid. Can Lightning Bolt the DRC. Put Scalding, Tarn in the graveyard. Put Bobble in the graveyard. Play Brainstorm. Uh, Uro I'll put in the graveyard. Ponder I'll put in the graveyard. So this Misty Rainforest is going to mean I get to make sure that Uro comes back, and that should win the game for sure. Um, so I'm going to play this Bobble. Put Wasteland in the graveyard. Keep the Misty. See what my opponent's working with. A Wasteland. Okay, good thing that we <laughs> kept that Misty. They're going to go to two. Then I should be able to play this Uro and shrink the Dragon's Rage so that um, it doesn't have to attack. They can just wasteland me here, but that doesn't matter. Okay, they're ready to concede. Okay, on the draw here, I think I am just going to run it back. Yup. Okay, on the draw, game three. This is a great hand. We have, uh, you know, lands and spells. And removal. So, uh, yeah. Doesn't get much better. Alright, they're getting in there with a bobble. 
They crack it immediately. Blaze calling Tarn. They must have targeted themselves. Yep. Okay, another daze. I don't hate it here. I'm going to be dazing to protect my DRC. We're in. All right, it's a wasteland on my volcanic island. And do they have a lightning bolt here? Sure do. All right. Bobble. I guess I'll see what my opponent's drawing here. I'm just going to have to play Ponder here, so not much use. In, uh... Holding back. Okay, another. These are all good cards. The seal removal is probably the least exciting. Am I just going to want to jam the seal removal next turn? I guess the questing druid is like a little far from being good. I could draw off a bobble. Another wasteland. All right, they're in there with a the Delver. Okay, well, hopefully they don't have a third Wasteland. That could easily win them the game here. Interesting that we haven't seen like an Orcish Bowmaster yet, but they must be running them. I have to assume. Rainstorm is good. Okay, they're gonna pass here. Okay, we drew a land. Um, that, that's not bad. I'm going to like just questing druid on my, uh, or seek the beast on my end step here. I think I am. It seems like my best shot. I mean, they might, it might get dazed, but I think we're going to have to play into days here. I just don't see a way around it. Okay. The so dragon's rage isn't a bad find. Not much chance this merc tide gets into play. Unless I rip another land, that would be pretty sick. Okay, they're in there with Ponder. Okay, I am going to daze this DRC and accept that I'm not going to get Murktide region into play. That was a good choice because we weren't going to get that mana anyway. But I will play this Dragon's Rage. And then I'm going to play Seal of Removal and get the Surveil. Bobble is not super exciting here. All right, bobble from the opponent. We're going to bobble me. And a lightning bolt on the dragon's rage. I can't stop it, so that, that happened. So a land would be a great rip. In the festivity. Okay, I'm just going to jam the questing druid then. So we are in this position where if they play a removal spell on the questing druid, we can return it to our hand and get that seek the beast value. Is that what they're gonna do? Eternally though, like seek the beast is kind of my only answer to Murktide. And now they're having this pause here, which makes me think it's a Murktide. There is. Okay, so I'm gonna need to use my seal of cleansing on that region. Ooh, we ripped the land. Nice. Okay. Yeah, let's play Uro. And we ripped a wasteland. Wow. Um... Um, yeah, let us waste red or black. I don't think matters too much. We are going to put that Merc Tide back in their hand. And I'm going to get in here for two. They're down to 16. They're going to they're gonna crack this Tarn. They're probably going to redeploy the Merc Tide, and we're going to daze it and hope that it works. They haven't had days so far. Ah, 
Wow. Phase is in. Scene. So that's probably good news. All right, now we're finally holding up Hydro Blast for their removal spell. And we're getting close to Uro here. So that is all exciting stuff. There's a snuff out. All right, we'll live with that. There's a ponder. All right, they chose not to shuffle. I wonder if they found surgical. Looks like they have not. We're going to deploy the arrow. So fetch lands probably okay to get rid of at this point. A dragon's rage. Are we in? We're in. Wow. I feel like my wildest dreams are coming true here. All right. Well, now that Uro's in, it, I think uh, it's going to be pretty tough to lose this one. Brainstorm. Crack that Misty. And it looks like they've had the Merc tied here. I think it's going to be bigger than my Uro. Oh, it's not. Wow. All right, I'm going to play Dragon's Rage. I'm going to play Ponder. Uh, Lightning Bolt. I guess I don't really need Lightning Bolt right now. There's the Red Blast. Um, yeah, I'm just going to bolt the... I guess maybe I should be playing around Submerge here. And been happy to trade the Uro for the Merc Tide. But uh, we got the job done. Alright, let us play first. First appearance of Sylvan Library here. Let's see how this goes. We should be able to just jam Sylvan Library on turn 2 with Day's backup. Um... And uh, that's probably going to be good here, if I had to guess. Okay, well, a Mox Diamond start, that's, uh, it may not be that good in this particular matchup. Cannot stop their exploration. Sphere of Resistance. Am I going to daze this? I guess I have to. Oh, I want to Lightning Bolt my opponent here. I think I'm going to. I just don't know when Lightning Bolt's going to be better. Um, but we're going to daze the Sphere of Resistance. And if they don't have Life from the Loam, we could win this game. More lands, okay. If they just do nothing on this turn here, I still get to jam the Sylvan Library. And they discarded a Dark Depths. So maybe they just top decked that Thespian stage. But you probably wouldn't discard the Dark Depths. You had options, knowing that you had Thespian stage coming, so, which does the, the combo to make a 20 20. Um, anyway, I'm just going to jam Sylvan Library here. Uh, library's in. So. They didn't immediately have light from the loam, and so if we can survive this turn, we might be able to claw back into this game. Oh, okay, I think they have the crop rotation, and this is just going to be game here. Yeah. Okay, well, that explains why they discarded the Dark Depths. Yeah, and they can make a 20 20. Yeah, I think we've officially been had here. Yeah, okay, we can we can concede. Okay, so against lands, there's always the temptation to keep an unholy heat to answer endurance. But 
I want these force negations. Minsk and Boo, maybe okay. Meltdown and Surgical Extraction. And usually trying to play Unholy Heat on Endurance is pretty bad. Which means I just need one more cut. I can maybe just trim a bobble. I mean, days is a little sketchy against lands. Maybe three days is, is okay. Maybe like a one of Unholy Heat. Played against this deck the other day and they were playing Archon of Emeria. I guess I'll play the two Unholy Heats, two Dazes, and two Bobbles. Um, this hand is good enough, I would say. We mean we got Force, Dragon's Rage, Bobble. Okay. Let's crack Misty. Volcanic Island. Dragon's Rage. Bobble. Um, Mercury just not uh, that good here. STP. All right. And so if they just want to swords my Dragon's Rage on turn one, we're going to let it happen. We are looking at Seeking the Beast here. Next turn. Yeah, I'm not going to force Mox Diamond. Yeah, we're going to let the STP resolve. I'm going to force the exploration here. All right, there's a surgical. Battle answer life from the loom. Ochukabog. It's fine. Questing Druid, thankfully, does not require the graveyard. All right, whenever you discard a card, you may exile that card from your graveyard. Draw and discard a card. This is good with exile stuff. Okay. All right, when well, they discard a card. I guess I should have sought the beast in response to that, although there's, like, no chance that I would force a currency converter. Okay. Well, playing Wasteland... I guess uh I guess I'll just start with Ponder here. It'd be nice to have Questing Druid in play. Okay. I guess these cards are all good. I mean force of negation's a little redundant. Oops, I shuffled accidentally. <laughs> Okay, well, I was just, just going to say that Force of Negation is a little redundant to Surgical Extraction, although we've redrawn it anyway. So I'm probably playing Sylvan Library next turn. i play Questing Druid. But it's probably Sylvan Library and Ponder and try to... And try to get this Minskin Boo set up soon. All right. I'm not going to Wasteland Bochukabog. I just have two cards in hand here, so they don't have a ton going on. Espion Stage, that's fine. Fear of Resistance, okay. Well, Forcing. Okay, so now we're going to play Sylvan Library. If we can just get this Minskin Boo down next turn, that would be exciting. Dual currency conversion. Yeah, they discarded Wasteland and put it under the currency converter. They're going to convert some more currency. Discarding an exploration. And a shadow spear. That is fine. 
All right, hopefully we find the land off the Sylvan Library here. We can just jam Minskin Boo. We do. So do I want to put Questing Druid back here? How much do I want to pay? I guess I'm not going to be a coward and pay eight. They're not threatening anything. Guess I may as well get the Tega. Gonna juice the boo. They have like one turn here to find Dark Depths to make 2020. And you know, maybe I could have played more conservatively around that and held up Wasteland, but I think you just gotta slam Minskin Boo and take a shot. But uh oh, they're tapping they're tapping mana funnily, so it could be could be in trouble. Okay, a sphere of resistance. That is totally cool at this stage in the game. These cards I don't really need. I guess I could go to six. Um, no, I don't think I need to go to six that badly. I'm gonna attack with a boo and fling it. I'm gonna shuffle the top of my library. Okay. Yeah, we drew Force of Will, so that's exciting. And we have a Murky Reach here. Probably getting Murky Reach down is what we're looking to do. Now we're holding up Force of Will and Wasteland as well as Surgical. And uh, yeah, they'll, they'll be dead next turn if they don't do anything good here. All right, and the opponent scoops it up on their turn. Well, Unholy Heat was not looking exciting there. Days looks even worse on the draw. I guess we're keeping in the Unholy Heats. There's nothing else from my sideboard that really interests me. I could bring in, like, Collector. Oof. Just bring in Lightning Bolts. I think I'll just uh, run it back like this. All right, well, we've got a hand with Force of Will and a one drop. It's, uh, it's pretty good. Not going to force Mox Diamond. I am going to force Exploration. Pretty far from Uro being good, so I'll pitch that one. Wasteland from the opponent. Um, I mean, if they have like life from the loam and can keep getting back this wasteland, it's going to be a problem. Otherwise, I'm just going to get this dragon rage out there and hope for the best. Okay, well, there's another exploration. So, do they have like wasteland and life from the loam here? It's looking like they don't have life from the loam. Uh, well, yeah, I'm going to play this land, play Ponder. I guess I need this land. Okay. I'm going to play this Bobble. Then this Questing Druid. See what my opponent's drawing. Push it in. So a meltdown's gonna be probably pretty essential here. So. Bog, okay. That slows down my DRC. And they are tapped out here, okay. So, oh wow, they do not support me. But do I want to wasteland their saga and slow down their shenanigans? Probably, I think. 
I am going to start with Brainstorm here. I guess if they port me, they don't get to uh, make Saga tokens of what happened there. Another tropical island, not super exciting. No meltdowns coming. So am I going to wasteland this saga is like the big question here. I could put back this Murktide and this Minskin Boo. Play Ponder. And then I mean, we really need to find Meltdown to win. The thing is they're going to be porting me. I think I'm just going to... Finding Meltdown would be like way better than wastelanding this saga. Life from the Loam, that's an interesting one. I'll just put it in the graveyard. That's a pretty good place for it for now. The thing is, if I can get this Merc tied down, that can probably just block their saga token. I think I'm just going to shuffle. More Wasteland. Okay. No attack from me into their Saga token. So are they going to get Shadow Spear here? All right, this Saga trigger's on the stack. They're going to make another Construct. They get the Soul Guide Lantern. Um, that's not the end of the world, I guess. Wasteland, okay, well, that's that might be the end of the world. Now they get to take me off melt. Hmm, could be in trouble here. Yeah, not looking good. Okay, Bobble, what's this going to reveal for? Okay, Volcanic Island's definitely a piece of the puzzle. They have Choke coming. Wow. Uh, yeah, that's going to be the game. Sadly. Well, I'm going to Wasteland their port. And attack for three in the sky, but now they can just play Choke, though, and that's going to do it. Dang. Lands is a deck. That I feel like I do. Oh, oh yeah, and they can just remove my graveyard here. They got the choke coming next turn. That was that was a well. I couldn't do anything about this attack, I suppose, but I could have bobbled on my second main. Uh, all right. Well, sometimes you're gonna lose to lands like this. You know, it shrinks their boys, but they're just gonna play choke, and we're done. So here, I was thinking about how choke is gonna ruin my day. I suppose um, this choke doesn't stop the volcanic island that I have right here. What we could do is just savagely rip Meltdown, like, right now. That is not Meltdown. It is a red card. Well... Um, I guess I have one more turn to draw it. The Meltdown, I mean. Nope. Okay. All right, that'll do it. All right, on the draw with uh, for game through uh, four, match four. And we have a nice hand of lands and spells. We're going to keep. Okay. All right. Some kind of combo strat from the opponent. Slam DRC and pass it on back. DRC's in. The Vault of Whispers from the opponent. 
And we're drawing some lands here. Okay. All right, I'm going to attack with Dragon's Rage. And then we're going to be DRCing in response to anything our opponent might do. It looks like they're going to do nothing. I'll still seek the beast. Bobble. All right, I'm going to keep that one. It's guaranteed value off the seek the beast. Like. I don't hate another blue card. Bottom, the tropical, we certainly have plenty of lands here. All right, let's see what our opponent's drawing. Oh, Lion's Eye Diamond. Um, so I could play the Questing Druid and Lightning Bolt my opponent. I think that has to be the strat. To potentially get us a uh, Delirium this turn. And we can uh, try to find like a Daze or maybe another Force of Will. Unholy Heat's probably not it. Okay. All right, so they're uh, taking one down to 15. We're going to draw a card. It's another bobble. All right, here's another LP. Dark Rit. LED. So they'll, they'll need a Thought Seize or something to force through whatever's about to happen here. Veil of Summer. Well, probably just done here is what I would say. I guess I'm going to force the Veil in case what they play is a draw seven. An Echo of Aeons. Force I'll put on top in case some kind of miracle happens here. They have two veils. Wow. All right, well, they just had my number the whole time. Let's see. And they can probably uh, seek the mirror here, whatever that card is called. Storm. Maybe they don't have it and they're about to brick. It doesn't look like. Okay, they can just grab tendrils and we're done. So here, I'll uh, count on them that they can figure that out. Um, we do have some sideboard cards though. Forest negation, veil of summer, maybe surgical. Definitely the oof meltdown. I guess it's probably worth bringing surgical. I don't think there's anything I need to lightning bolt, so we'll just board out the bolt effects. Seal of cleansing. Light from the loam. All right, let's try it. All right, we're on the play. We do have meltdowns, and I mean, I guess I'm going to begrudgingly keep this here and hope that meltdown is good. Gonna be the old Misty Rainforest pass. And Delta from the opponent. Dragon's Rage. So do I want to play this instead of uh seeking the beast? I guess that I do. Looks like we're holding up Veil. The opponent, hopefully afraid of. Veil of Summer, you know, does counter Tendrils of Agony. We have one in our deck. All right, the opponent cracks their fetches and gets a swamp. And... Tropical Island. Infernal Tutor, okay. 
I'm gonna grab a Thoughtseize. That's cool. I don't have anything in my hand anyway. Okay. So I would like to Wasteland them here. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Back with the Dragon's Rage. And I, I guess I'm gonna seek the beast in response to their thoughts he's here. I guess I'm I guess I'm doing that. Burrow. We can put that in the graveyard for free pretty much. Okay, a bunch of lands off the Seek the Beast. They get to take my force. I'm going to melt down their Vault of Whispers. Oh, but they just have the whole combo here. Yep. They're going to Besiege the Mirror. Maybe they've got Empty the Warrens here. Guy as well. All right, they're just gonna play it all back. Sure, this will be a tendril of agony. All right, they got it. Okay, on the play for round five, playing for the three and two. All right, so I'm gonna play a Misty and pass here. All right, the opponent's gonna play a Misty of their own. It's gonna be another Tempo Mirror. I'm gonna crack Bobble targeting me. Another Bobble. Crack Bobble targeting cells. Okay, and they are just passing it on back here. And they have themselves some bobble triggers. Sure. Well, I think I'm going to be seeking the beast here. And I think I'm just going to do it now. Seek the beast. Okay. A force of will and bobble. Those are good hits. Brainstorm from the opponent. Okay. Another bobble from the opponent. A lotus petal. Ox opal. By you. Well, our hand is pretty good against whatever is going to happen here with this bonus force of will. I mean, I don't know if they're trying to fight through this. And I'm going to have to let Dark Ritual resolve. I guess if they're on Empty the Warrens, then they're going to have us, if that's like in their hand somehow. Okay. Well, I'm going to force. Hmm, pitching days probably. Up. So we're gonna get some revenge against a uh, combo here, and that is a good feel. All right, Daze counters the Veil, and Force counters the Beseech. Slam the Questing Druid. Slam the Bobble. See what my opponent's working with. Another Beseech. Uh, 
Uh, we're going to have some bobble triggers happen. Burning Wish. So Beseech is the last card in their hand. What are they going to Burning Wish for here? I'm inclined to force it because there's a lot of things they could get that I don't want to see. I mean, I guess they probably would have gotten Thoughtseize there and that would have been fine. I don't know. But I didn't want to like have it be like empty the Warrens. Okay, well, like cards. All right, we're a little bit naked right now, but they can't really go off with just a Beseech the Mirror in the hand. Is the good news. Then we'll be holding up Seek the Beast next turn. Mercury Reach. Alright, that's a good one for sure. In that it pitches to Force a Will mainly. Certainly had all the force of wills that we did not against our previous opponent this round. I guess I'll wait for my opponent to do something before seeking the beast here. They're not going to do anything, it seems. Alright, so hopefully we can just end the game uh, on our next turn. But it certainly starts with seeking the beast. Unholy Heat can go in the graveyard, but that's not going to do it. Um, so if I brainstorm right now, I think that increases the chances that we get there. Falling Tyrant can go in the graveyard. Okay. So yeah, we have this then. We can get Delirium. Okay. Uh, they're going to cycle a Veil of Summer. Sure. Well, here we can play Dragon's Rage. Play Brainstorm and mill the uh, life from the loam. That's going to give us Delirium. Okay. And yeah, we could have attacked for 11 there. All right, so some similar sideboarding as last time probably going on. Um, they're going to be playing cards that I want to Pyroblast, I believe. Oh, Hydroblast counters Burning Wish, too. Um, take out that life from the loam. Probably don't need all these Merc Tide regions. They do win the game quickly. I need this Collector, oof. Questing Druid kind of can do that, too. Yeah, Uro is a nice one too. Um, since it draws cards and pitches to force a will. I mean, I could keep the end of festivities in as like some kind of answer to. Um, empty the Warrens. All right, I think I'll try this. And I forgot to board up my seal of removal. That was silly. Um, this is a na nice lands and spells hand. Um, I mean, they could go off turn one here. But I think there's too much upside. 
They're playing Lotus Petals, so maybe they're going for it. It looks like they're going for it. Playing a Brainstorm. All right, well, they do pass the turn, so we've got a shot at Redemption. Here. Oh, they don't pass the turn. Oh, there's a Burning Wish. Or are they going to go for the empty? Echo. Okay, I guess I don't hate it. Well, this new hand stinks. I hate it. And a carpet from the opponent. Well, we have this Tega. Um, yeah, I guess I'm just going to play the Dragon's Rage and get this down and hope they don't have much going on. I mean, I could be holding up Brainstorm, but I think having Dragon's Rage Channeler in play puts us in a better spot on the whole. All right, they're passing it. Wasteland. All right, I'm going to attack for one. So on my, I'm going to have this choice about, like I could play Wasteland and Questing Druid. Well, Wasteland and Seek the Beast, I mean. I could try to brainstorm more aggressively here. I play another fetch land, like Brainstorm gets a lot better, but playing out fetch lands means turning on their carpet. I don't know, I guess we'll see what they do here. I mean, I could seek the beast on this end step, but that doesn't seem very good. I probably want to seek the beast in response to my opponent doing something, I would think. I guess uh, Wastelanding their Underground Sea like I could play a Wasteland here to potentially not trigger the carpet, but I, I don't think that's very good here. Uh, you just Wastelanding them when they have a carpet of flowers in play anyway does not seem like a winning game plan. All right, they are cracking that catacomb. Playing that Veil of Summer. But do I want to like brainstorm into this? So my one shot here is to find like my own Veil of Summer to counter their Tendrils of Agony. Or I could take my chances with like brainstorming and trying to force this and then like force something else maybe. I guess them drawing one card doesn't make a huge difference if I'm on the Veil, the Pray for Veil strat anyway. And then there's a chance that this works. Uh, like finding two forces, like maybe that happens. Okay, so off these draws, I would say we're not going to have a miracle here, sadly. Yep. So Veil happens, and I'm sure they've got it here. Lotus Petal... Uh, we're gonna get their mana. Go off some more, I'm sure. Yeah, I cannot counter this Burning Wish. Here into the Abyss. Yeah, I cannot stop it. It cannot be countered. 
Bobble. Bobble. All right, I guess I'm going to have six. All right, they're doing a bunch of stuff. But I don't know if they're going to, like, empty the Warrens to potentially play around. Veil vale of Summer. I guess they can probably Veil vale of Summer. Okay, they're going to go for Grape Shot. Well, that would play around Veil vale of Summer, huh? Okay. Oh, I still get another game. Okay, I thought it was all over. Well, I can board out the Seal of Cleansing. And I, I guess bring in a Surgical Extraction. I guess that's fine. All right, I guess I'm going to go for it. I mean, it's like a lands and spells hand. All right, I guess I'm going to keep. All right, they're on a mulligan to six. Keep. So let's play Dragon's Rage. All right, they're going to Scalding Tarn pass. Well, I could like ponder rather than just slam Sylvan Library here. I think I'm just gonna slam the Sylvan Library off of Tega. And just try to get one more turn here and then start turtling up. Force negation, let's keep that on top. Yeah, if I can just survive this turn, that would be awesome. Okay, they're playing a Brainstorm off their Volcanic Island. So, if I could just survive one more turn here, that would be pretty sweet. Oh, they're playing the LED. Uh, it, may be, it may be all over here. Yep. Oh, they're just doing a Galvanic Relay. Nice. I can look at that. Probably. We are still in this thing. Okay, I'm gonna not keep those useless cards. So, I guess I'm going to play the Meltdown. We got two cards left in hand. Another Force Negation. I guess I'm going to keep that. And so we're holding up Hydro and Force Negation. Okay, Lotus Petal. Mox Opal. Yes, so they really need like a dark ritual here. I cannot counter the brainstorm. Okay, here's the burning wish. I can hydro blast this.
or is there Vale of Summer? Okay, and we are still in this game here. Now we can hopefully just ride Sylvan Library to victory. Uh, I'm just going to be paying, I think. Okay, I think I just want to force negation this. Force a will. Am I going to keep this on top? I guess so. Okay, so I'll put a, we can seek the beast into like the pyroblast there. I should have stacked it a little bit better. Okay, they're going to suspend guys, Will. So I need to get them killed here. Okay, I'm going to take the shuffle. Seek the beast. I guess I'm going to keep a force of will. Oh, no, that's useless here. Oh, man, I'm losing it. Okay. Okay. So I can play Mishra's Bobble. Get rid of this DRC. Got the Delirium. Play this Questing Druid. See what my opponent's drawing. And pass the turn. So we've drawn this Meltdown. Yeah, it's got to kill them before this guy's will resolves. Okay, it's meltdown. Bodes well for that. They're probably trying to do something if they're playing meltdown here, so that's uh, maybe bad news. Burning wish. I guess I'm going to force burning wish. Don't need another land. Okay, these are pretty useless. Okay, so they're pretty close to dead though. We can play Dragon's Rage, which will grow the Questing Druid. And then we can melt down for zero. Bend the useless cards on top. Okay, and they're ready to concede. Okay, well, <laughs> we pulled out the three-two victory. Um, nice. Okay, well, between rounds, I was thinking about how I want to build this deck, and so I think I'm just gonna end up cutting Sylvan Library and Life from the Loam. We need the value off the Questing Druids. I think you have to play four Mishra's Bobble. Seal of Removal seemed like it overperformed. Uh, I mean, it's just a great card in the Tempo Mirror. It doesn't seem like it would be that good, but I think it is. So I'll try out, you know, the two Seal Removals next time. And then, well, I'm thinking about just cutting Veil of Summer from the sideboard and playing Collector Oof. Maybe Collector Oof is better than Veil of Summer. Um... Yeah, and then like a third Pyroblast. 
And then I'm just not going to play the Torpor Orb. And I would be trying to beat... I guess, like, how would you sideboard against, uh, like, the initiative? Just bring in your Minskin Boos and board out. I mean, I guess you know, we're going to be hoping to beat the initiative the way that we're set up here. I guess you want to bring in Meltdown and Minskin Boo. And then what would I sideboard out? Maybe just Mishra's Bobble then? Um, in any case... Uh, so yeah, I'd be playing like the Oof, but these could maybe be Veil of Summer. But yeah, I think we're sort of like the Veil of Summer is a cool card against like Blue Black Scan, but we have Carpet of Flowers and Pyroblast and Minsk. Oh, if we want to bring in tons of cards, we don't have the sideboarding all perfectly mapped out here. But I think this main deck seems pretty promising. Uh, yeah, it was nice to get revenge against Combo in the last round. Yeah, all right. Well, I'm going to leave it there. So that was, uh, yeah, Team Redelver. I guess this uh, seemed pretty good. I like the way this worked out. Uro seems like a nice backup card. I like uh, 19 lands with one Tega. Um, yeah, we have some powerful cards on the sideboard here. I mean, I guess I'd like, like a Hydro Blast somewhere in there. This is like a lot of artifact hate, but the Storm decks are pretty good. But uh, anyway, I think this is uh, definitely what I'll run next time. And this is like a logical evolution. So, all right, we'll leave it there. All right, thanks, folks.